Greetings, fellow detectives. Good evening. Welcome to the next stream in our Nancy Drew 2022 Streamathon Chaos Nancy Edition. Today we are playing Stay Tuned for Danger, the second mystery in the series. And last time we played the third mystery in the series, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Greetings, Dragon Slayer. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. First, been waiting. Well, welcome. Greetings, Musical Blonde. Busy from 6 to 7 beyond after. That sounds wonderful. Greetings, No Thank You. How are you today? Love this game so much. I do too. It's such a classic. Greetings, Jenna. Welcome to the stream. Have to miss this one. Hope you all have a great time. Can't wait to watch the video. Thank you so much for popping in, Jenna. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Greetings, Lauren. Greetings, Carrie. Greetings, Hannah. Welcome to the stream. Greetings, Ramen. Greetings, Lauren. Greetings, Tuan. Greetings, Alexandra. Welcome to the stream. So good to see all of you. So excited for Chaos Nancy in my fave game. Yes. Greetings, Sam. Greetings, M. Greetings, Ray Marie. Greetings, Katie. And greetings, Squeaky. Fish Arland. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you all today? I am so pumped for a little evening playthrough of this classic. I know this is one that a lot of people have a hard time getting to work on their computers, so hopefully this will be like kind of a, a fresh new experience for some people. Greetings, Sheila. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Greetings, Shaky. Just popping in. Have to watch later. Super late here. No worries at all, Shaky. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Greetings, Tanya. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. Everyone ready to have this music stuck in their head for the next three days? Yes. I love the like jazzy noir detective type sound of the soundtrack in this one. It's so good. Greetings Marlena. Greetings Lauren. Love it when Millie says it's open. <laughs> Greetings Juan. Greetings Maple. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Greetings Kiana. Welcome to the stream. Can't stay for super long. Alas, this is the one elusive game you have not played. <laughs> know who the culprit is but i don't want to spoil too much yes this might be one stream where we maybe don't say as many spoilers as other ones because i think this is one of the lesser played nancy drew games greetings little cave welcome to this stream so good to see you made it to another one yay welcome we're doing stay tuned for danger then we sure are ready for the tv soap opera drama greetings rachel welcome to the stream so good to see you yes drama indeed and Nancy gets to have some sassy dialogue options in this one. Chaos Nancy gets to have some fun. So I am pretty pumped. Should be a good one. First time I'm able to watch your stream all the way through. Yes, this is our um, latest start time so far. So hopefully catching some different time zones, catching some um, after work hours. <laughs> Peeps. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Get us started, shall we? Played it once, don't own it anymore. Played it when you borrowed it from a friend ages ago. Sure. Remember watching your older sister play this when you were too young to play? That's so exciting. Greetings, by the way, Julia. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Okay, let's move this over here. Ugh, my chat keeps doing this. This is so weird. My tablet decides to be like, nah, I don't want to actually show you the chat. <laughs> But I kind of need it to. There we go. Okay. Live chat. All right. One moment. Let me switch to this and this and this. And let's see how we go. Wait, and hopefully it'll pop up how it's supposed to. <laughs> Oh, good. That looks perfect. Okay, new game. And we're going to coin flip to see what we play on. Um, let's see. Let's do heads, junior detective, tails, senior detective. The only thing it changes is the end puzzle. And it's honestly, like, super complicated on Master. Okay, Google's preparing to flip. What do we got? Tails. Okay, so senior detective today. We're doing senior detective. Stay tuned for danger. Are you still not refreshing? Tablet. Yeah, tablet is still not refreshing. Mixed thoughts about stay tuned for danger. Story and music are incredible. Gameplay is... Where'd that go? 
Where'd it go? <laughs> I was reading it and then I got like totally lost. How did I miss that? Oh, there it is. Gameplay is sadly clunky and outdated. Would have been cool if it got remastered. Yeah, I totally agree. Tired, you're a librarian and led baby story times today. Oh, it's so cute, but it requires so much energy. Seriously. Gosh, I can only imagine. That must be wild. Okay, here we go. Now it's refreshing. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love technology. My parents' power went out at their house. Um, which is not too far away from me, so I'm like sort of hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that the power doesn't go out here because that would be a problem. <laughs> JK Lady, thank you so, so much for the super sticker. The onset is perfect for today. Thank you so, so much for that. Welcome to the stream, by the way. So good to see you. That reminds me, today's stream is brought to you by all of the patrons over at Mystique Manor and by all of the official fellow detectives rocking their wizard kitten hats in chat. Thank you all so much for your support. Today's stream is also brought to you by any super stickers and super chats that are used in chat today. Thank you so much for support there as well. Last time you streamed this game came home to no internet. First time you streamed it, you're on Twitch and it didn't work. So excited to finally see it. Yay. Do like the evening streams because you can actually join. The other ones have just been going back and watching them afterwards. Good. I'm glad at least the replays are fun. Excited to relax and watch the stream. Yay. Still remember the spine chilling feeling when you first noticed a certain hidden message in the script when you were a kid. Try not to spoil. Yes, we'll have to point that out when we find it. I'm doing good. Today's been a good day. Uh, Mr. Wizardkin and I hosted some friends yesterday for a little hangout. Um, and we both slept in until like 10 this morning. So clearly our little introvert selves got worn out. Um, and then I spent the morning playing Sims and it was fantastic. I'm working on aging up my current um, child and the, my current legacy family up to a teenager so then I can like save it there and then she'll be ready for when the um, high school years pack comes out. First time we get to hear the iconic theme, yes. Senior, greetings Joshua, welcome to the stream. So good to see you, how are you today? I don't want to see you, Serena. Burned into my brain, seriously. You can digitally download on their website. Did they update the settings or something? They must have, so that people could still get it. First two OG games had three levels, isn't that funny? Come on, little tablet, work. Yeah, thankfully now it is working. Feel you on the power thing. You're on a walk right now. It feels like it's about to get stormy here in the Twin Cities. Yes, it's so humid right now. It's like 88 and humid, and it's gross. <laughs> I haven't got outside yet at all today. Repeated sound bite. Greetings, Ryan. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Greetings, Forever Insane. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. Greetings, Lux. Welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. How are you both doing today? Same to you, Lux. Oh yeah, stay tuned for danger. Superior to secrets can kill by far. Agreed. No, there's barely a difference between junior, senior, and master. Um, it's the end puzzle when you're getting away from the culprit. It's the only thing that changes. Doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. So humid in Michigan too. I know. I just want it to like really thunderstorm and get rid of the humidity. I hate humidity. <laughs> so aggravating. Dear Beth. You'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. <laughs> yes, true one. How often Bess Marvis' voice actress changes. Isn't that funny? Everyone have a good fourth? Yeah, how is everyone's Come on in, weekend? Nancy. The door's open. Presuming that most people in the U.S. had a long weekend. Okay. Nancy, while you were out, wait, while you were out, Ned called. 
<laughs> he asked me to tell you to call him the first chance you get. By the way, he sounds cute. Okay, after our Sea of Darkness stream, I have to call Ned so we can be all lovey-dovey with him. Because this is one of the only games where Nancy... Um... Says I love you to Ned and is like actually lovey-dovey to Ned. They are cute in this one. Greetings, Teller Koi. Welcome to the stream. Hello? Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. River Heights? <laughs> and Teller Koi, thank you so, so much for the super sticko, st sticker, sticko, sticker. The bravo little fox, thank you so, so much for the support. That is so kind of you. Really appreciate it. Got to spend time with your mom, so that was nice. Good. Your fourth was good. I always wanted to know more about Aunt Eloise. She owns an apartment in New York and a house in Florida. Yeah, Aunt Eloise has some secret side operation going on. That's okay. I'll still love you. Even if I'm bald and wearing dentures? Of course, Ned. Even if you're toothless and hairless. You're so sweet. Strange, but sweet. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? That is not Ned. <laughs> well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. We're visiting your girlfriend and you flew through MSP. It was so foggy and humid. Yes, it is so humid in Minnesota today crazy okay we've redeemed ourselves and we were nice to ned so funny you two librarian salary is not getting you that okay i am i always find these pictures absolutely hilarious just the photo um what's the word I can't think of the word. Photoshopped. <laughs> the photoshopped faces of Maddie's face just on real human bodies. So funny. Oh my goodness. This game doesn't even have to try to be chaotic. It just is. <laughs> With those faces. Greetings, Kiana. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Different dead voice. Weird. It is weird. We get so used to Scott Cardi. Maddie! Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. Something so nostalgic about this game, first one you played, yes. I think our first game, like, always just has such a special place in our hearts. Let's see. It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling, and now Rick's getting these death threats. She actually dumped Ned and then started dating Charlie for a message in a haunted mansion, but still calls him Ned. <laughs> I like that theory. But it can't be all that bad being a star, can it? Yes, it can be all that bad. If Rick leaves the show, Light of Our Love could be in a lot of trouble. Everyone's worried that the show could get canceled. Isn't that just regular Stay Tuned for Danger? Exactly, it's just already chaotic. And yeah, the animation is a little outdated. A little outdated. <laughs> well, tell me about the death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star Rick Arlen has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Of course, Lauren. I'm so glad to hear that um, everyone had good long weekends. Maddie's hair is majestic. The volume. <laughs> Weird? They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Oh yeah, the soundtrack is iconic, I agree. 
I made it, I made it. Greetings, Nick. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. They did do a really good job syncing the words in the dialogue, though, <laughs> um, to the mouth movements. Like for, isn't this like 1998? Okay, this is 2000, but still, it's impressive. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. Her eyes are so blue. <laughs> Lauren, thank you so, so much for the super sticker, the onset chair. So topical, I love it. Thank you so much for that support. Rick's voice actor was also Sonic the Hedgehog. That's amazing. Rory finds himself alone in Serena's townhouse. Among some books and magazines, Rory picks up a diary on a coffee table. Serena enters. Oh, startled. Rory, you scared me. With suspicion. What are you doing here? <laughs> I was hoping to find you here. I've been making myself right at home, love. I see you found my personal diary. I was hoping... <laughs> I was hoping to find you here. We can do the thing like where they are rehearsing and they say the exact same thing over and over again. <laughs> well, yeah, defensively. You left it out on the table for all the world to see. What was I supposed to do? Well, sarcastically, you could have shown a little respect for my privacy and left it alone. You know me better than that. Your business is my business, babe. <laughs> Okay, who here watches soap operas or telenovelas? Any kind of form of soap opera? 99. Refreshed from the shower. Oh, good. Yeah, my Stay Tuned for Danger says 2000. It says copyright 2000, but maybe that's just this version because I have this version of it. Um... Could have changed it. At least they exert enough efforts making the designs 3D. Yeah, exactly. Not perfect, but impressive. Exactly. We can give them some props. I need something to make this work. NDTV. Maddie's got a bunch of Golden Globes. Should star in Light of Our Love. I would love to. Except if I have to be opposite Rick. I don't know how much I'd enjoy that. Lovely dining room. Maddie and Rick, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Look at the left side of the script toward the bottom. The left side of the script toward the bottom. <gasps> oh, it says, help me, Nancy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Oh. That's cool. Just been making yourself bowl of rice. Your mom got back from it getting groceries. Nice, Dragon Slayer. Sounds like a nice chill evening so far. That's so scary. Only watch soap operas on Fridays. If there's a wedding coming up on Monday, they will buy flowers. Tuesday, send invitations. She'll get left at the altar on Friday. <laughs> Jane the Virgin is as far as I've gone into telenovelas. I was always curious about Jane the Virgin, but never um, got a chance to watch it because I didn't have cable at the time it came out. The box changed when Haunted Mansion released. This was the third box style as the first game went through two box designs. Oh my gosh, interesting. I can't with the Photoshop pics. What do you mean? <laughs> They're so seamless. <laughs> Built this apartment in The Sims. I did build this apartment in The Sims, and it's honestly one of my favorite um, 
recreations that I've done so far. I really like how this one turned out in The Sims. Bonus pull-out horoscope. The last days for Rory Danner. I love that the photographer and the editor were like, we're just gonna plaster 16 different pictures of Rick's face. And that's gonna be our, our design for this magazine. I do love her mug. I want that mug. The wedding photo looks like your grandparents' wedding photo. <laughs> love the Photoshop photos. They are pretty classic. Greetings, Elizabeth. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Spooked me so much as a kid. That is so cool, Raman. I didn't know that was there. I love it. Dad and you are watching the latest episode of Only Murders in the Building. I have to do that. I've only watched the first episode so far. But I am obsessed with Selena Gomez. She's always been my favorite. Um, I have all of her albums. Obviously obsessively watched Wizards at Waverly Place. I buy a lot of rare beauty makeup. <laughs> so excited. Plus Martin Short and um, Steve Martin are just hilarious. Will Celeste ever forgive Alex? A Long Road to Fame. This is the magazine that like so many other characters read later on in the series. Like Lisa is sitting in Wickford Castle reading this magazine. I think, doesn't Emily have it? I think Emily has the same magazine. Emily Griffin and Ghost Dogs. Is this game on Steam? I feel like it is now. It didn't used to be. I could be wrong, though. I never saw the Help Me Nancy. That's creepy. Same. I never knew that was there. Maddie's mother. Could at least write to your dear mother. <laughs> Greetings, Hippogriff. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Did we just start? I'm on your 30-minute break. Yes, we did just start. Just started about 20 minutes ago. I like her journal. If you click on the 13, the eye disappears. But then when you back away, it comes back. I never knew what the point of that was. But it's kind of funny. Ooh. A little secret compartment. Want to watch Only Murders, but you don't own any streaming service very much love those actors. It's a really good show, especially for just like, it's like a cozy mystery, basically, is the feel of it. It's locked. I don't think we ever find the key for that either. <laughs> oh, these pictures. Classic. All right, I think that's everything at Maddie's apartment. We already called dear old Ned. I love only murders. Yes, so good. I'm so glad that they're um, going with it, that they're continuing with it. Great show. I need to get into rare beauty. I've heard the lip glosses are good. Yes, I have. Um... Taxi. Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. I have the lip mats. Um, I have two of them, and I love them. They actually last a really long time. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna save. My mouse went way too slow there for my comfort. Save. Continue game. She crossed out deer to set the tone of the letter. Isn't that great? Yeah, the key was a last minute cut. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. I kind of like that in a way, because it's like, what? What secrets were in the drawer that we never did find? Worldwide Broadcasting Studios. You know what I should do? In the Sims 4 Get Famous expansion pack, um, there was an acting career, and your Sims, it's an active career, so your Sims go to the lot. I should totally make Worldwide Broadcasting Studios so then your Sims can, like, go there <laughs> for their roles. If you don't see this, there might be something missing. The subtle gem free? Does it say trend? Like in danger on deception island. <laughs> totally doesn't. 
<laughs> Greetings, Emily. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? One of the best game soundtracks, in my humble opinion. I agree. I listen to this one a lot. Also, why do I keep opening up the exact same magazine? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Something about it compels me. Selena Gomez got all, some of her songs. Falling Down, Magic, Tell Me Something I Don't Know, Love You Like a Love Song, and Naturally. What songs of hers do you like? Oh, literally all of them. My favorite um, album of hers is When the Sun Goes Down because I listened to it so much this summer right after my senior year of high school, and it was just, like, the most nostalgic thing ever. I listened to it on the way home from work in the dark, um... Cause I would like work all day and then it'd be dark at night and then oh it was just so good like driving around in my car feeling all grown up with my when the sun goes down album blasting oh, I love it excited about the knives out sequel diamond onion I'm so excited I love knives out so glad they're making a sequel can I help you it's my favorite character in this game <laughs> yes Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me it should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Boring elevator music. I love the commitment to, like, the lobby sounds. It's perfect. Have a nice day. Billy Stratton. WWB founder. Mildred W. Stratton. And she's, like, somehow still alive. Okay, well, Chaos Nancy's not gonna go find Maddie right away. Chaos Nancy is gonna wander around and go talk to everyone else. One of the pictures is apparently Tom Selleck. Yeah, wasn't that one Tom Selleck? Isn't that him? I could be wrong. Maybe it's not. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, a year without rain. Oh, iconic. So good. Used to make a trailer on the lot so your up-and-coming star sims could just live there. Because they were broke. I love that. Okay, Lillian doesn't talk to us because we're not cool enough yet. It's open! <laughs> Daniel Craig! Such Hello a good Benoit there. Blanc. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. I suppose Millie could be, like, named after a grandmother or something, and she just happens to look exactly like her. Or a convincing look-alike. There you go. Rick and Maddie. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. It looks like him. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. Pretty uh, sketchy stuff there, Bill Papas. Can we talk to Rick before we talk to Maddie? Okay, no, we can't. Just playing it's around. Open. Love the feel environment. It feels very classic old school. Love the little touches. Yes, exactly. Classic old school is a very good way to put it. Hey, Nancy. Glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me why someone would want to send these threats to Rick? He's talented, handsome, and rich. Some people would hate him just for that. But Rick wouldn't hurt a fly. I have no idea why someone's trying to scare him with these threats. Greedy Michaela, welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Millie's voice just scared me. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off screen or on screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Yes, Juan, I love the World Wildlife Fund. Um, I've donated before, and you can do an option where you get like a little stuffed animal to represent the animal that you adopted. Um, it's so fun. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. 
Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. You see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. Oh, I will. I will be snooping through all your stuff. Sus, Bill. Very sus. Oof, the hiccups. Okay. Maddie has fan mail. Never really understood why Millie was in the game. Would have rather seen Bill Pappas. I agree. They, like, sort of make Millie out to be a suspect. But, like, not really. I think no one takes her seriously enough for her to be an actual suspect. MJ, a mask of sweet sincerity, a cloak of loving kindness, meant to sway the heart to trust and fill the eyes with blindness. Is that supposed to be like, Maddie looks sweet on the outside, but you should actually be super suspicious of her? Because that's what it feels like. <laughs> Are Rick and Maddie supposed to be the same age? Feel like he's much older than her. I'm not sure. Okay, let's turn all the words to face the correct way. Doesn't even pause long enough for Nancy to react. Yeah, the conversations in this game are kind of funny because the characters mostly just end the conversations themselves. It's not really Nancy who ends the conversations. Wow, what a great joke that <laughs> that was. <laughs> Snooping sense is activated. Greetings, Sora Chicken. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? I forgot, but now I'm here. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you've had a wonderful day so far. Used to be obsessed with this game. Wanted to be a movie director when you were in your younger teens. Well, that makes sense then. It'd be right up your alley. Oh, this one was already the right way. Okay. So now, let's put the edges all over here. This one. Okay, there should be one more. There it is. Okay. I just, until... Let's see, be done. Be done. These. Okay, there. Be done, I just. That looks right. Must, however, together. Was over. Okay, that looks better. Okay, sorry that it has to be, has to work, has to work out like this. Sorry that it has to work out like this, but there is no choice at the moment. You must trust, trust me. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. We both know that it, that it needs, we both know, know what needs to be done. Something, something. Millie is way too delusional to be a suspect, I agree. They made her just like a smidge too weird so that you can barely even count her. It's, it's like Ralph being a suspect. Like, I mean, he's there, but is he really a suspect? <laughs> Good old Ralph Guardino. And I, we both know what needs to be done and I am taking the steps, however drastic, to see that it is finished as we discussed. I just 
need you to support when I just need your support. When all this blows over and everything calms down, we can be together. Mm-hmm. Suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Script with colored highlighted lines actually hints to the solution of a later puzzle. Won't say which ones. Is that where we figure out the... I want to talk to you about Rory. I know. I, I don't know. What do you mean? I love Rory and I despise you. You used me to seek revenge on your brother, your own flesh and blood, and now you want to drag me down to your level, but I won't do that. I have more strength than you think. Don't patronize me, Yuri. I'm no longer in your power. I'm free of your evil spell. Is this um, giving me clues to the puzzle that ends up in Rick's room? Greetings, Anti. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Puzzle in master detective mode was so frustrating. It seriously is. You almost just have to get lucky. Just finished your work day. Yay. I hope it was a good day at work. Oh yeah, I forgot to say which um, merch uh, shirt I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Bodacious Mel shirt today. Got the Bodacious on. <laughs> Any updates on the ones we ordered? They are currently in production. Orders were submitted a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah. Oh, said w Ralph Guardino, since he's a security guard. <laughs> Greetings, Dragon Girl. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Never actually played or watched this one before. Isn't it one of your favorites? I think it ends up in the middle for me just because it's a little on the outdated side. But I do love it. So I'm trying to see how this would be a clue to the puzzle that ends up in Rick's room. Because that's the only one Replayed this game on Master almost four weeks ago. Talk about backtracking. Love it. You need to read the other page in the script as well. How do I turn the page? Or are they just around? Maybe they're just around. Ma chérie, you are a symbol of my... Or this is a symbol of my love for you. You are an angel flying in the sky. Guy. I don't know French. <laughs> I know Spanish. I don't know French. Eh. I want to look at this. There's so many things to look at. Arlen's possible departure leads to ratings questions. Anything else? WWB down after rumor of Light of Our Love cast changes. Will the decline continue? Embezzler escapes to Rio de Janeiro. Business Bulletin, Technology Journal. Love to see it. Would have been funny if Tino Balducci had been the security guard. Tino Balducci. <laughs> Going well. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> Greetings, Anna. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? can only get this game to run without sound. So jealous you can play with a gorgeous soundtrack. Oh my goodness. With the older Nancy Drew games, there's a couple different things that people can do to get it to work on their computers. I find that um, running as administrator when installing the setup and like manually starting the setup helps. And then what you're supposed to do too is set up a different folder, like create a new blank folder just in your documents label it the name of the game, and when it asks you where you want to install the game to, click browse and use that folder. That usually works. And always say, no, I will install DirectX myself. Never say yes on a newer computer. And then it has, it has consistently worked for me, knock on wood. <laughs> The script will have multiple colored markers. Ah, I get it now. I get it. <laughs> okay, the navigation's a little bit on the clunky side here. Bodacious Kitty! How is the queen? She's doing well. I felt so sad for her yesterday because she was 
really scared um, about the fireworks. Like she was skittering all over the house and slinking really low to the ground all around. Just made me feel so sad for her. It's a hard time of year for pets. Because <laughs> you can't explain to them what people are doing outside your house making explosion noises. <laughs> Greetings, Sally. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Surprised you were able to make the stream on lunch at work. Awesome. Welcome. So good to see you. Hope you're having a good work day. If you counted right from last year's streamathon, stay tuned for danger is number 22. That sounds about right. Yeah. I can definitely appreciate Stay Tuned for Danger for what it is. Okay, they're already on set. Who's ready for this iconic scene? <laughs> Save. Just because it is older and I'm nervous. I need something to make this work. There we go. Very particular. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Wise. We're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! Sheesh! <laughs> Clear him out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. Uh, Stage crew, you're on stage. I love you. <laughs> Greetings, Alyssa. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Installing it how you described has worked for all the old games except this one. Well, gosh darn it. That is unfortunate. Which I suppose makes sense because this is the oldest one. I don't want to see you, Serena. Greetings, Shadow. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? The soap opera acting. So cheesy. I love how he says, I don't want to see you, Serena, twice. I don't want to see you, Serena. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> I've thought about it again, and I, I still feel the same way. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Greetings, Zach. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Came here the best part. <laughs> don't go. I love you! <laughs> Serena starts scene. Yes, they did finish the blocking for this scene. Bagels! Love a good bagel. I should try making bagels. I've never, like, tried to make a homemade bagel. Pull the fire alarm in the studio and get, ca ki get kicked off I need the to find pace. the key for this. Well, then I'll have to do that. The wheel is stuck. Warning, authorized personnel only. We'll see about that. Now, where is this fire alarm? Aha. Oh, the one from the end. How about, can we like take the ax out and swing it around as Chaos Nancy? Where's the fire? You must be the one behind all these shenanigans. Come with me, young lady. I believe the police would like a raid with you. <laughs> oh no! What happened? They've confiscated my pass. I guess this takes me off the case permanently. Oh, I should have been more careful. Well, better luck next time. I just hope they'll be a next time for Rick. How did the show win awards? I have never done that second chance before. Oh my gosh, it kicked me all the way out. Can I help you? Oh, I have to go all the way back? Yes, Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every no. time you enter so I can log you in. We're not doing all that again. Have a nice day. <laughs> no. I'm loading here. 
<laughs> okay, we get to see the scene again. <laughs> Places, everyone. Are we locked Never in? Never knew you could yes, do that. Me neither. To shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! Oh no, we totally had well, to do it. Out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for Chaos today. Nancy has to get all the second chances. It's just funny that the game kicks you back that far. It's relentless. We get to see it again. Greetings, Book Dragon. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Greetings, that tree girl. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Something about the camp of this game that makes it iconic for me. I can't help it. I agree. It is simply delightful for that exact reason. So good you have to see it twice. <laughs> Okay, just gonna make sure I look at everything. I don't miss anything. I need to find the key for this. Need to find the key? No, Rory, don't go. The wheel is stuck. I love you. <laughs> He's just not into you. That that into you, Serena. Exactly. Okay. Fire alarm. We can look at the box. What's in the box? You could do better, Serena. This is true. Something parts? It's a very blurry, um, sticker. Nothing over here. Um, we can go over here and look on the set. Love the soundtrack, especially this track. Me too. This track is so good. Your time is running out, Rick Arlen. You'd better kiss your career and your life goodbye because the end is near. The teleprompter getting all creepy. Oh, I like that painting. I want that painting. Pretty good sets. I like how the stairs go nowhere. <laughs> Nancy, did you pull the alarm of fire? Where's the fire? Ooh. Look at that. I think that somebody made that light fall on purpose. The violin. Any more second chances in the set? I do not know. Like head cannoning one? Ah, oh, Maple! I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for that support. That is so kind of you. I really appreciate it. I don't want to see you, Serena. And we have this beautiful clock. Yeah, headcanon. I mean, there's a few. I should set the clock. Honestly, I a lot set of the clock. Yeah, thanks, Nancy. <laughs> I'm trying to back away. <laughs> a lot of the um, theories that other fellow detectives have come up with, I really like. Like Rose and Abby. That's a fun one. George. But it was cut. It certainly could be. Certainly could be. Okay, I think we can go talk to both Rick and Maddie now. What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed. I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that because I'm a visitor. <laughs> What's the story with the violin? You know, I never knew. 
I it's open. The story with the violin was. Frosty and James Penvillain were very heavily hinted to be gay. Frosty, I could definitely see. Jane or James? Is there are one of the Penvillains a James? Like one of the historic Penvillains? Oh, Nancy, this is horrible. There's no way that could have been an accident. I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage. I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. <laughs> we'll talk later. So she just, like, that was our conversation with her, and then she just, poof, existed. <laughs> exist and then not exist. James is Eleanor's dad. Yeah, right, because he was single, like, and never married, right? And then Eleanor just kind of appeared on his doorstep. Entrez-vous. I love that idea. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Ooh, I like that theory, Zach. I love Marcus as a character. He is so funny. <laughs> Uh, River Heights? Touché! So, you're an old friend of Maddie's. She told me you were coming up to visit. She said you find me irresistible. A very flamboyant figure who never married. Oh, Nigel. I always kind of forget about Nigel, even though he's like a fun character and I enjoy Nigel, but like for some reason when he's tucked away in the library, and you're, we're like talking with the rest of the Penvalins and even Ethel. Like, I don't know. I forget about him sometimes. <laughs> well, you know how Maddie exaggerates. Don't I know it. She's been driving me crazy worrying about me and these wacky letters I've been getting. I would think poison chocolates are a bit beyond wacky, wouldn't you say? Poison chocolates? <laughs> Oh dear, Maddie's really gone over the top with this. They were just a bad batch, that's all. Look, if you dare me, I'll eat one. But if we're gonna play that game, I'd prefer another dare. So, how about it, Nancy? Truth or dare? Ooh, Chaos Nancy does dare. His shirt looks like fondant. <laughs> Greetings, August. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Rick is the epitome of masculinity. <laughs> I cannot be convinced otherwise. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, that tree girl, right? <laughs> Nigel is somehow the most sane character in that game, hence forgettable, right? <laughs> Dare. Okay, while I go to makeup, stay here, get all cozy, and stay beautiful. Ew, Rick, no. <laughs> no. Not gonna happen, man. Habon. <laughs> it sounds fancy, but it's literally just soap in Spanish. And probably other languages too, but it's definitely soap in Spanish. I wish you could dare him to. <laughs> Stop flirting with the teen. Entrez-vous. Rick is creepy. Greetings, Fluffy. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Disapproval face is amazing. <laughs> I can't unsee the fondant shirt now. I can't either. I'm going to get you, Rick. Your days as Rory Danner are numbered. I can't help but, like, read all of these notes, at least in my head, and the voice of the, um, threat that is to come, I'll say. Just in case there are fellow detectives here who haven't, uh, seen this game before. <laughs> If I met Rick IRL, he would activate my fight-or-flight response. Fair. <laughs> Set Rick up with Deirdre. If you won't be mine, you won't be anybody's. Leave light of our love, or else. I'm tracking your every move. Watch out, I'm right behind you. Purposely ignoring a lot of obvious no signals, right? Rick. Easily twice Nancy's age. 
Okay, we need the 3D glasses. We don't need them, but they're helpful. The Hamptons, me plus my gal. I will say he's at least designed to be insufferable. Like, we're designed to hate him. <laughs> Is purposefully the worst. Fixation. <laughs> he has a cologne named Fixation. I love all the spooky notes. Can we poison Rick now? <laughs> uh. The broken watch, your time is running out. Massively insecure and unsatisfied with his life. Yeah, I mean. Most of the time, people who are acting the way Rick is acting definitely have confidence issues. <laughs> Unless you are puzzle or clue, Chaos Nancy isn't interested. And this one drops the Y. Rick, do you think that I'm that stupid? You send your boat to your upstate cabin. I know where that is, and I know where your Fifth Avenue penthouse is. I even know the access code. Change it. That won't stop me because one day I'll meet up with you. There's no escaping my wrath. I'm much nearer than you think. Creepy notes. It would be terrifying to get notes like that for sure. Nancy won't even show love to her own boyfriend. Why should she flirt with you? So pray the chocolates, which we'll find in um, Phantom of Venice. And they, what do they say? Die, Rick? Yeah, they just say die, Rick. Which is pretty messed up. I demand the ability to poison Rick with jellyfish. <laughs> Greetings, Aubrey Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Wizard Kitten Wave coming your way. I have to tap so hard on my tablet for them to work. <laughs> with a letter like that, you should take it seriously. How do I loathe thee? Let me count the ways. I loathe thee to the depth and breadth and height. My soul can reach. I want you out of sight. For the ends of vanity and ideal conceit, I loathe thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candle flame. I loathe thee freely as you strive for fame. I loathe thee purely as you cannot turn from praise. I loathe thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I loathe thee with a hate I seemed to lose with my better dates. I loathe thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if it comes to pass, I shall only love thee well after your death. Dun dun dun. <laughs> then we have the script again. Absolutely convinced that Surprise Chocolates is a money laundering front. That's why they will work with obvious criminals so much. I love that. And I am now um, definitely only going to think of Surprise Chocolates in that way. <laughs> Secrets Can Kill has like three puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> and this game like barely has any. Ooh, Dead Roses. Um, just like we'll find in Haunted Mansion. I sounded so excited about that. Ooh, dead roses! Since we had friends over, um, yesterday, I kind of cleaned up our deck and trimmed, um, back some plants and everything, and they were having a nice big plant sale, so I got a couple of, um, plants, even though I have, like, no green thumb whatsoever. I just got a bunch of full sun ones, hoping that they're supposed to be pretty hardy. And I'm hoping that they will survive. <laughs> That's my hope. The Rick. <laughs> Die, Rick. I love it. Dinner time. Enjoy your dinner, Anna. Thank you so much for popping in. Greatest poem ever. Three puzzles and a lizard. Ooh, wizard kitten wave headed your way, Maple. Eh. Eh. Why is it always so hard to get the third one? <laughs> Plant babies! Yes! They're really pretty. Scared you, didn't I? Good, because this was just a dress rehearsal. Only my revenge is truly sweet, Rick Arlen. So prepare for your long and bitter end. They're so dramatic. The drama. Man of the year. Rick's alive! Is there a fire extinguisher in here? 
good to know it's here. Rick, your time is running out. <laughs> Greetings, Musical Blonde. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Good luck to your new plants. They are gonna need it. So far, they're doing okay. <laughs> I got a ornamental lavender because I love the smell of lavender. And I got another one. It looks like a cone flower. And I can't remember the, like, the actual scientific name of them, but they're a deep, like, magenta purple, and I love them. It's been a good day so far. It's been a very chill day. I've been inside because it's ridiculously humid outside. <laughs> it's me, your faithful fanatic. Or am I now a lunatic? That's what you called me yesterday with your little group of followers. It's just one big joke to you, isn't it? Yes, Rick, it's a joke and I'll be happy to deliver the punchline right in your face. <laughs> okay, man of the year, voted by whom? <laughs> Bromelade? Uh, and this one's burnt. Dear Mr. Arlen, I just want to write you and tell you how much of a fan I am of yours. A fan of your impending doom. I can't wait until that fateful moment as I watch you squirm and beg for mercy, but I won't give it. You don't deserve it, you coward. And don't think I'm not serious. I'm serious enough to keep a close eye on you. How did you enjoy your meal at Blake's last night with that trashy woman from Nash Cove? You ordered a red wine with your halibut, you fool, and then fell asleep in box 42 watching Soft Shoe. The night ended with a taxi ride to your boat in Slip 83. Afraid that I know of your secret hideaway? Maybe one day it'll sink with you in it. A fanatic. <laughs> now, did Rick try to burn it? Or did the person sending the threat try to burn it? Loving the dramatic note reading. Thank you. <laughs> I am but a humble thespian. A performer of the written word. Oh, it's late. Okay, how late is it? 6.15 p.m. We are technically not supposed to be here now. Uh, I need something to make this work. Okay, so we have to go back because we stayed too long. I was having too much fun reading all the dramatic notes. Um, and I think we have to go at the back door. Seriously, Rick, why didn't you report these threats? Such a jealous lover type of letter. Exactly. Earlier games definitely feel more adult than later ones. Yeah, especially the first two, they're very gritty. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! This person really has quite a few screws loose. He burned it because he's a terrible date. It's locked. Exactly. He didn't want people to know what a bad date he is. That's actually his issue. Okay, I think... Okay, it's still just Ned who called. And I believe Maddie is not here. But I do love the fire. Oh, so pretty. Although you can see the, the square of the animation of the fire. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh, that's hilarious. It's still pretty, though. You can get caught by Ralph while sneaking around the studio at night. Yes. We'll have to do that. Turn night to day or day to night. The choice is yours for darkness or light. Choose the path you decide to take, for only you can decide your fate. Very intense way of saying, time to go to bed. <laughs> We're gonna switch to daytime. The taxi accents are horrible. <laughs> they really are. Oh dear. The things we've learned. Greetings, Amanda. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? How is everyone? How was your holiday weekend? It was a good time. Hung out with two different friend groups. Had a good time. Low key enough too. I'm not somebody who enjoys super wild weekends, so it's nice when they're chill. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Take and fate do not rhyme. <laughs> this is true. Can I help you? 
Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Okay, Lillian hasn't kicked me out yet. So we better talk to Millie first, I think? Yeah, the taxi accents are definitely outdated. Like several things in this game. Been trying to learn Korean and got yourself a new journal today to write down notes. Actually a lot of fun to learn a new language. That's so cool, Book Dragon. Best of luck. It's open! Hello there. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. <laughs> Good day, my dear. <laughs> Fan theory, Millie pulled a Vlad and is pretending to be her own descendant, right? Would not be surprised. Millie definitely gives me vampire vibes. Do we meet that sweetheart Lillian yet? We're about to. May I help you? Yes, hi. I'm a friend of Maddie's and I'm... Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. Hey. Well, that didn't work. Is Maddie here or is she in her? Is she in the house? Millie was voiced by Lonnie. Yep. And you can definitely hear it too. Gee, so bitter. Yeah, Lillian is a. Uh... Tough hey, to get along taxi! with. Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Yeah, more than likely, Shadow. Well, she was very lovely and pleasant. Wasn't she? Maddie, help! I've been kicked out. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. Truly a ray of sunshine, that one. I understand, but now that the studio is close to visitors, I'm at a dead end. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. Whoever's leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. Lillian Weiss, so rude. Really? Who is your agent? Dwayne Powers. We've been friends for years. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Lillian does need a tea therapist. I think she and Minette would get along quite well. Or at least they're very similar. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Maddie. Well, I'm sure you've got to rehearse for tomorrow. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. I agree, Alyssa. It's just really natural. Like, oh yeah, here's this other character. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Exactly. Rude and not in the Minette way. How do you know the culprit has access to the studio post visitor van? Because she's the culprit. Go away. No. Don't you understand? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. I'm in Sweep 101. Come in. Uh... <laughs> so, red? Uh, best character incoming! The buzzer puzzle. Come in. Just come in. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. 
You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. The buzzer sounds really are the worst. I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, yes. Maddie just called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? Maddie spoke highly of your abilities, and I am more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally, I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, I was. But I must confess that the man has no talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd never have gotten to where he is now. You see, Rick foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you must be anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. <laughs> I do love the detail that, like, I don't know how purposeful this is, but his jacket is just way too big. Like, the shoulders and the jacket size, it makes it look like the jacket is way too big for him. As in, like, he doesn't have enough money or he's struggling with funds to, like, get a jacket tailored or buy one that fits. Um, it just plays into his character and his motivations, I think. He has charm. The man has no talent. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. His eyes staring into my soul. <laughs> can I help you? Hi. I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Good old Ralph, so reliable. Thank you, and uh, good luck. Okay, so now we can go talk to Lillian and be like, I got hired. Meh. <laughs> ah, I see Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. So, are you trying to get discovered, or are you just hard up for a job? I'm working with Dwayne Powers' agency. I heard he's a really good agent. Oh, please. Don't get your hopes up too high. It's not like you're working for commercial artists or Edison talent. We use Dwayne whenever we need someone right away. Usually extras or gophers. If we really need talent, we call someone else. The disdain in her voice. Dwayne, if we really need talent. <laughs> She's really hitting, hitting those words. I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? That's what Chaos Nancy does, Lillian. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to your business. You do that. She really could just walk a few blocks, couldn't she? Like, on the map, it's not that far. <laughs> it's open! Yes, my dear. Do you something new? Hi. How can I enter the prop room? I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. Give it air, and it will live. Give it water, and it will die. Yeah, I mean, the character situation in Ransom of the Seven Ships was awful to begin with because there's literally only one very good let's see if you can answer one more what has teeth but can't eat and then the uh, the decision to make a recur a character from a previous game be johnny roll 
I just don't think it worked. And I don't think it works even like when it comes down to like a story level because then you're you're relying on characters having played that game before, which is why people like ask me often which characters I would like to see like return in another game as another suspect. I just I generally don't like that idea because if you are playing the games out of order, it's very possible that you're not going to get the joke kind of thing. What has teeth but can't eat a comb? Oh, that was pretty easy. Let's try Fire. another one. <laughs> what has a head and tail but no body? Queen. That's it. It's open. I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite the sleuth. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose. <laughs> Yeah, they did always find, like, really passionate um, voice actors, which I always appreciated. And I know most of their voice acting talent was in um, Washington, too, which is cool. Like, it was all local voice actors because they didn't want to, like, fly anyone out. Knives. <laughs> that sketchy box. <laughs> what about Tino? It's, it's different when they're phone friends because then they're not, like, a cult. They're not a suspect, right? If they're a phone friend. I'm fine with phone friends coming back. Like Tino coming back in White Wolf, I think is kind of funny. You still aren't going to get the joke if you haven't played Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon before. But you're not going to have the culprit situation messed up, which is the important thing in a mystery. Spider Sapphire mystery. The prop room has just like tons of cookies in it, by the way. And just hints to books in the series. Lots and lots of hints to books. But yeah, I don't mind when they come back as um, phone friends. Like Hotchkiss coming back as a phone friend, I'm totally fine with. Or I don't mind where Charlena started as a phone friend and then became a physical character. I think that's fine too. The key to a mystery is revealed by the wise when the bell sounds its toll and the moon makes its rise. Because then they're just another suspect which I can appreciate. Played Icicle Creek before you played Train, had no idea who Tino was. I was confused and felt like I was missing something. Exactly, yeah. Even then it can kind of like make things confusing or more difficult. At least it's not going to mess up who you think the culprit could be. But yeah, you're still, like, missing out on the inside joke kind of thing. Prudence coming back periodically is always a delight. Savannah, too. Yeah, and recurring phone friends, I think, is fun. When gates are locked and paths are blocked, then look for other ways. The answer is, the answer lies, <laughs> the answer lies beneath your eyes to this perplexing maze, I think it's maze, to this perplexing maze. Is that a hint to look under the map to get the... These are very important. You need the wire cutters. Do not leave without them. Millie owns the whole building, and yet she chooses to stay in the prop room. Millie's an interesting person. Yeah, broken locket. Clue in the broken locket. Anyone who's ever been in a prop room will tell you it's the best part of any theater. It is so fun to just, like play around in prop rooms and costume rooms. Oh my gosh. It's like being a kid again and playing dress up. Don't hurt yourself reading the map. Husband is laughing at you turning your head to read. <laughs> oh, I forgot to read this. Move the rings over one by one. Your moves can always be undone. Smaller ones must go first. Large over small is an instant curse. Move the rings to another side. With success, the key will unhide. Not sure why this um, puzzle is giving some random person a clue that there's a key in here, but, you know. 
whatever you need to do. Oops. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Costume warehouses. Not sure Millie has all her mental faculties anymore, so... <laughs> yeah, Millie's a little on the bonker side, this is for sure. Lilac brooch like lilac in. Yes. Okay, we need that for the clock. Such a satisfying click when you place the rings down. Honestly, like the sound effects in these games are so solid. The sound design in general. Whistling bagpipes. Twisted candles. Signs of the twisted candle. I like how they allude to Tino's shadiness in Ice without directly giving away whether or not he was the culprit in Last Train. Exactly. Yeah, they kind of leave it up to interpretation. I don't think I've ever looked at this. Huh. Why are old pictures of children always terrifying? I'm sorry, but those kids are definitely ghosts. <laughs> They just, there's, there's no way they're not. Some sort of gargoyle mystery, perhaps? Knight in shining armor. Knight in dented, scraped armor. That's what you want. I can't do a German accent. I wish we could actually fill in this crossword puzzle. This puzzle is easy. Just lift the entire stack on the left over to the right. It is funny because, yeah, in real life, you could definitely just do that. You could definitely just pick up the whole thing and move it. But the game's all like, no. Gotta play by the rules. I thought that was a disco ball, and I was like, the disco ball mystery? That seems out of Nancy's time. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. Uh, yeah, poor Hess Grumble. He's gonna have a rude awakening. Stay tuned for danger. I'm curious, how many of you know the official acronyms for the games? I feel like if you were around on the message boards, um, back when her interactive was, like, you know, active, um, the acronyms were used a lot, and that's how I learned them all. So cool if they remastered this game. Imagine all the Easter eggs from other games they could throw in the prop room. That would be so fun. This game gets an A in your book? Oh my gosh, I love that. I can understand why. Plenty of characters that aren't official culprits that have committed many shady crimes. Exactly. Like, you maybe weren't the culprit for this game, but you still did a lot of illegal things. The Nancy Drew subreddit has forced you to learn them. I use them for the countdown feature in Instagram whenever I'm posting um, in the stories the times for the, the streams. And I always wonder how many people are like, what does that mean? <laughs> what does STFD mean? Learn them in your streamathon from 2020 and have the Reddit post with all the abbreviations saved into your phone. I love that. Yes, I remember using the acronyms all the time on the message boards. Adored the OG message boards. The message boards were so fun. Such a good time. My diary. Made yourself learn them because wanted to be able to understand people talking about them. Started using them in journal and notes too. It is nice just to be able to write them down so much faster. You rank this one number 11 on your game list. 11 makes sense. I could totally see that. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, it's how... Ew! Ew, I always forget about that. Blah, 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 blah. Gross. I hate spiders. Um, how much the, the outdated 
graphics, a couple other outdated things, how much that plays into the game for people versus like the charm of it or the nostalgia of it. The early custom was wide mouthed toothy grins were inappropriate for portraiture. Even in old paintings, wide smiles were often associated with madness, drunkenness, or informal immature behavior. Which I suppose if you have to sit re for a really long time while you're getting your photo taken and you're just sitting there like grinning like this the whole time, it'd probably be kind of terrifying. So yeah, I could see why they would be like, you know what, maybe don't smile. <laughs> maybe don't do that. Yeah, I have two one. Prop room, missing items. Fake beard and moustache. A fake beard and moustache? Spirit gum adhesive. Maracas. 3D glasses. Alarm clock. Hacksaw. Letter opener. Tape recorder. And then we peek behind the glue. Millie. WWB 1958. Which we need. You have Waverly moved into the top 10 now? Yay. I fully support that, Ryan. Waverly's just The typewriter perfection. drops its Y. Fillion suffers from amnesia after suffering a concussion from a fall falling rat. And Rory Danner is accidentally poisoned to death from poorly placed rat poison. Soon after the arrival of this. And we wonder why Millie's stories don't get picked up by the studio. I hate spiders. Spider. Spiders are the worst. I hate them so much. Spiders are not friends. Entrez vous. Got in trouble on the boards for accidentally spoiling the culprit to a game in your signature. Didn't realize it was a spoiler when you were 13. Yeah, getting like a strike on the busage boards was the worst feeling ever. I always felt so horrible. A falling rat? I have no nostalgia for any of the games, so that doesn't affect biases in your rankings, which is why I have different opinions than some. Makes sense. Which is fun to see. I like that a lot. Hello. Is it nighttime already? It's only 3.30. Why can't I talk to Rick? It's open! Oh, Maddie's in there. It's open? It's open! What are you doing here? <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. I guess to help him get out of his contract here. For example, I hate Curse of Blackmore Manor. I know you're not alone on that. I definitely know of other detectives who do not like Curse of Blackmore Manor because it's like really puzzle heavy. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg. But yeah, I know nostalgia has to play a role for me, especially with that one. Rick, open your door. <laughs> Let me talk to Lillian. It's you again. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. Maybe if the rat was falling 150 miles. <laughs> I want to know about this rat story. What happened to this rat that it's like I need something flying to make this through work. the air? Can't remember what we set the clock to. Isn't it 11? Yeah, hey, it was 11. Good. Okay. Back up, Nancy. There we go. Back up. Nancy, continue to back up. How do I get out of here? Yeah, this is clunky navigation at its finest. Here we go. 
Alright. It's dark. Okay, and we have no idea what to set those to, because it's dark. But we can... Use the oil can. Love Curse of Blackmore partly because of nostalgia, because the plot, characters, and location are some of the strongest for me. Yeah, exactly. I'm a huge Curse of Blackmore Manor fan because I just love all things British. Um, so basically having a game set on the English moors in a spooky British manor, following the story of a British family is all I need, and I'm, like, instantly hooked. Plus the music in it is so good love the music. Memoirs and Renaissance are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite tracks of all time. Curse of Blackmore's environment is like 90% of what keeps it pretty high on my list. Exactly. Blackmore Manor, ooh, Blackmore Manor is just stunning. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, we don't have what we need to get into the prop room yet, or the um, control room. It's still dark. We have what we need for the puzzle. Why won't Rick open the door? Let me in, Rick. <laughs> hmm. Do I have to go talk to Millie again? Maybe I have to It's again. open! Greetings, Catherine. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Cat and you are popping in to watch for just a bit. Wish we could stay longer. Hello, Catherine and Kitty. Welcome. Hello, young lady. I love when pets watch the streams. <laughs> Only decent character in Blackmore Manor is Jane. Too many puzzles, too hard, and have little provocation is just too much for me. And that's totally fair. I totally get that. Love the music. So creepy and suspenseful. Yes. Nancy Drew community is fascinating and that people don't judge each other's opinions from what I've seen. Part of it being I feel like everyone has at least one hot take. Yes. I love that about the Nancy Drew community too. Like we all recognize that we all are like looking for slightly different things in games and what might be my favorites could be totally different from somebody else's. And that's totally cool. What you don't see in all video game communities. It must be wonderful to work with Rick Arlen. Is he really that exciting in real life as he is on stage? Who? Rick Arlen? I never heard of him. You don't mean Rory Downer, do you, dear? He is a no good, good for nothing, do nothing, if you ask me. Oh, he's been a troublemaker ever since he's got here. What that man needs is a good, swift kick and a you know what? Causing poor Serena all that grief with his scampering around. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day. Okay. Secret passageways can get tedious. Yes. Yep. Lulu is a queen. The vibe of family history exploration in a creepy mansion is all I need in terms of Blackmore Manor. Exactly. Same. Danger as well as a certified hood classic. Definitely love Curse of Blackmore Manor. It's just the ending is a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, the ending could be better, for sure. Nothing majorly wrong, just kind of lackluster. Yeah, especially with the buildup. I totally agree. Why can't I get him to open his door? <laughs> it's open. He is a no good, good for nothing, do nothing. Have you found anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Yeah, despite my best efforts, I can't get Rick to let me in. Okay. Well, let's go back to... Maybe we have to snoop around at night some more? Maybe that's it? Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! I love hearing different people's opinions for the games. Same! Like when people have totally different opinions from me. Oh, maybe this is what we need. 
oh thanks Hannah and then they can tell me like what it is they love about that game then it helps me be like oh yeah you know what I could appreciate that about this game too I see where you're coming from kind of thing and then I find new things to love about each of the games You've reached Bess Marvin. I can't come to the phone right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I guess we're playing phone tag with Bess because we have a message to call her. Maybe we're supposed to call George first. Who knows? Regardless, let's turn on the TV and put in our tape into the VCR. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh no, not while I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. <laughs> the way he sits, with his mouth open. <laughs> he just looks nuts. <laughs> uh, Rick should talk to us now. Your dog, Evie, is watching with rapt attention. Yay! Who said, So my opinion that Waverly really is a dumpster fire is valid. <laughs> no. Of course it's valid. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Even though it's my favorite game of all time, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> I can understand that it might not be for everyone. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. Greetings, Kaylee. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? My hot take is that I liked Midnight in Salem. And I know you're not alone, too. Like, I definitely know there are other people that liked Midnight in Salem for what it was. And if, if I could take myself, like, out of the whole context of this series... I think I would be able to find more to like about it. It's just that, like, it's the, it's the context for me. Weekdays on 2 to 3 on Channel 13. <laughs> he is very arrogant. Hello? The music. It says die, Rick. Hello, Rick. Don't try to have the room. Don't you like? Take the screws out one at a time and then put the screwdriver back away. Okay, I'm gonna definitely screw up the order without even needing to. Isn't it like yellow, yellow, red, orange, blue? <laughs> Oops. Greetings, Sid. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? And greetings, Hallie. Welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. How are you doing? Let the bomb explode. Just in time for the bomb. Hello? Bottom three, Shattered Medallion, Danger by Design, and Curse of Blackmore Manor. Okay, so... I would love to hear what people hate about Danger by Design. Hello, because I know Vote for Holt also hate Danger by Design. And I just want to know. Because I don't hate it by any means. I think it's a fun little game. Yellow. 
yellow, I think it's yellow, red, orange, blue? Okay. This is 7734. Ridiculous. It was pretty scary for a minute there. And then what happened? Once I defused the bomb and got out of there, I called the police, and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Ms. Drew. This is Bill Pappas, the producer for Light of Our Love. I just wanted to thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. The story is a mess. As in, like, how it switches from one focus, like the focus on Manette, to then the focus on Noisette Tornade. Like, you just don't like that there's those two separate plot lines. Is that the idea? Plot of Danger by Design makes no sense. None of the characters are good. I hate the two plots not flowing together. Interesting. I, I, I see what you're saying about the characters not being good. I think Manette is super memorable, and I like Heather as a character. But yeah, Dieter feels like he's not really doing anything. Jean Mi feels like he's not really doing anything. And same with JJ Ling. So I totally get that. I get the that the characters are kind of lackluster. My bottom are very basic. Med, mid, and Cree. Yep, same. <laughs> Midnight in Salem, Shatter Medallion, Creature of Kapu Cave. Or Ransom, I think Ransom of the Seven Ships is, yeah, it's, for me, it's Midnight in Salem, Shatter Medallion, Ransom of the Seven Ships, Creature of Kapu Cave, and it used to be Trail of, of the Twister, but now it's Labyrinth of Lies. Yes, I was. They needed a statement from me. What type of information? Wanted more of the catacombs, okay. Hated it your first playthrough. Upon replaying it recently, not nearly as bad as you remembered. The water tunnels get really tedious. The way the two storylines tie together is super weird and doesn't work well. Sure. Wish we got more of the catacombs. Lower side of meh. Wish there was a stronger connection between the Minette and Wazette storylines. Also wish there was more ways to make money. So tired of painting. <laughs> Despite the plot being disjointed, Danger by Design has great replay value. See, and I agree with that. Like, once you kind of know what you're doing... I think things flow in Danger by Design a, quite a bit better, personally. Information about the bomb and what I found in the dressing room. Can I ask who has access to Mr. Arlen's dressing room? Only Rick and the security personnel. We've already checked into this. Rick is very touchy about his room and won't even let the janitors clean it unless he's there. That's odd. Has he always been this way? Yes, Rick's very controlling like that. It took us weeks to renegotiate his contract. He had all of these detailed demands, like about lighting, script direction, the placement of his name in the credits. He's unbearable at times. Listen, I need to get back to work. Do you need anything else? Creature of Kapu Cave is one of your most replayed. Never understood why people don't like it. For me, it's the ending. I also feel like I wanted more, way more creature um, because we didn't get the creature at all. Like, Kane Okala is supposed to be this big thing, and then we, like, we, don't, we get no Kane Okala. I like Malachi Craven, but I don't like any of the other characters. I think they're not, not fun to talk to, not enjoyable to talk to. And I, I really, really hate the structure of the, of Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion, where the shells and the fish and the way you make money off of those... Like, you can't make any of the fun shell necklaces until you get the scuba diving equipment, or the snorkeling equipment, but you can't get the snorkeling equipment until later in the game, and then you have to pay a lot, and you need that money beforehand so that you can get enough fish. It's just, I don't like how it's all structured for me. I think the, the order was wrong. Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. And of course, 
All of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics. But I couldn't picture any of them making a bomb. Yeah, and I suppose it's more the location, like the Moulin itself tying the two stories together. It's almost more like a coincidence. So I definitely see what you guys are saying there. Are there many temporary employees working at the studio? Yes, but all of our employees, either temps or permanent, are highly qualified and come from the best agencies. We don't hire just anyone, and we carefully screen our employees. My heart sinks when the guy tells you to go get the bottle of Motuan Fuete. <laughs> Can't even remember how to pronounce that. Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? That's impossible. This set has been closed down tight since that accident. I even hired extra security. My own mother couldn't have gotten in here. Yes, speaking of Big Island Mike being Mr. Wizard Kitten's favorite character, I told him about the uh, Big Island Mike hat, and he was, like, almost serious. Like, actually, I kind of want that. That sounds hilarious. Is there video surveillance of the dressing room? Uh, we're currently working with the police on that. But there are no security cameras in the dressing rooms. Exactly, Amanda. I agree. Who takes care of the teleprompter? Well, in theory, it's the lead scriptwriter's job to manage that part of production. But a lot of actors, especially Maddie, like to edit their script to add emphasis or direction. Yeah, I have a bunch of story and character issues with the silent spy as well. So then anyone has access to the teleprompter? We've already looked into that incident with the teleprompter. Anyone from the stagehands to myself could have rigged it. Listen, I need to get back to work. Do you need anything else? Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Of course we do. We have a whole department set up for audio recording. And we also have some mixers in the control room. Not a lot of danger in Danger by Design. Think I prefer the creepy dark games. Yeah, which totally makes sense. Because some people just have like certain aesthetics in the games that they prefer. Like the more gothic mysteries or the more light and fun mysteries. Totally get that. Just kind of a personal preference thing. Greetings, Eros. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Are there many people who have access to the mixers? Uh, just the sound engineers and control room staff would have access to that equipment. That's a good way of describing it, Hallie, for sure. Are there many people who have access to the studio at night? Only our key talent and some of the floor managers have access. And of course, myself and Lillian. But we've often got projects going on around the clock. Post-production work and set design, to name a few. Can I have a list of everyone who's been in the studio at night? That's confidential. Do you have surveillance video of the hallways, perhaps? We're looking into that. Listen, we run a studio down here, not a prison. Sometimes staffers borrow the security videos when they run out. We've addressed this problem before, and I can guarantee it won't happen again. Hold on a second. No, tell him I'll call him. Don't put him on hold, I'll call him. What else do you need, Nancy? Hello? <laughs> I agree, Little Cave. I think there's a lot to love about Scarlet Hand. Who else has access to the staff offices? The usual people. Janitors, some assistants, Millie, security. Now, is there anything else you need to ask of me? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pappas. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. Goodbye. George called for us earlier today. Oh, and then we have this. So now we can get into the studio at night. 3689. 3689. Okay, I'm gonna save this really quickly and then um, go refill my water bottle. It's been empty for a very long time and I can feel my voice starting to strain a little bit. <laughs> Love a good spooky gothic setting, which should make Blackmore one of your favorites, but so puzzle heavy, sure. Love Danger by Design's atmosphere. I like the more suspenseful games, but the Mulan is just such a vibe. Yeah, I like the atmosphere too. Like, I kind of like how it has almost like a noir kind of feel to it in a way. The hat is Daddy 2022. <laughs> the 
that is seriously the promo code for it? That's hilarious. Other bottom games are Tomb of the Last Queen and Secrets Can Kill. Fair. Yeah, that makes sense. I love all the lore and history in some of the games. Same. Blackmore is the only puzzle-heavy game I will not cheat on every time. I totally get that. Totally get that. Okay, I'll be right back. Got to refill the old water bottle. you come in and say hi? The madam bolted up the stairs while I was walking up them and nearly took me out completely. Maybe it was meant for Father's Day. Oh, there she is. Want to come in? Come on. Come say hi. Yeah, come say hi. Over here. Over here. Careful, you're gonna knock down the green screen with your tail. Yeah. Would you like a hug? Would you like a hug? Oh, purrs and everything. So nice. That's so nice. Adjusting? Yeah. I wish I could let you guys hear the purr ASMR. The purrs are strong with this one. Yes. The sweet baby was so scared of the fireworks last night. I was so sad for her. 
That was nuts, wasn't it? That was nuts. And now we have a nice quiet night. Then stay tuned for danger. And hide the peoples. The long hug. Look a long cameo. We're not worthy. <laughs> Protect this feline at all costs. <laughs> kitty cam. It would be fun to get a kitty cam, but she doesn't stay in here. Like, she comes in for a visit, and then she goes to one of her favorite, um, lay down spots, which is on one of three couches, or our bed, or the top of her heater. There's like an old 70s style heater in our upstairs living room. <gasps> we done? That she likes to sit on it. only in the summer though, not in the winter. All done? Thanks for saying hi. Let me leave the door open in case you want to come back. Okay, we'll leave the door open. Yeah, you want What a nice cameo. All hail the queen. <laughs> Cat. Mel reminds you so much of your own kitty Olivia. Do you also have a classic tabby? Ghost Dogs is your favorite. Oh, I love Ghost Dogs. It's my second favorite. She's come to see her favorite peasants. I did tell her before I started this stream today that she should totally come and say hello. Cat time. <laughs> So what is everyone's favorite game? That is an excellent question. What is everyone's favorite game? We've got Ghost Dogs. Quite like Ice. Yeah, White Wolf of Icicle Creek. The atmosphere is definitely great. She says, I'm through with you now, peasant. Exactly. <laughs> that is precisely how she works. She comes and finds me when she is ready to demand love. And when she is done, she goes and does her own thing. Which I really appreciate, honestly. Um, Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Stay tuned for Danger for sure. Yay, we're playing your favorite game. I love that. Blackmore, Phantom of Venice. Hard to say. Absolutely adore. Stay tuned for Danger. Silence by Anne Waverly. Waverly or Blackmore. Totally relate to the whole era thing. Dictating favorite games. Because your first games were Alibi and Ashes and Tombs, so you value puzzles and funny dialogue. Yes! Greetings, by the way, Micmac. It's so good to see you. How are you today? I love this snooping at night music. It's so good. I don't know if I've ever gotten successfully... Um, I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. Successfully caught by Ralph at night. We've already like snooped through everything in this room. Favorite is Alibi and Ashes, but Danger on Deception Island is the best game. I know what you mean. Like there is definitely a difference between I feel like the best, most well-made like game, movie, book, what have you, and then like your favorites within that. Because yeah, those can definitely be different things. All right, here's where we need to snoop. Lillian's room. Picking favorites is so tough. Need to actually think about it. Last train. Don't really have a favorite, just love watching people play any of them. For sure. Royal Tower. Sure, Rachel. Just take your time snooping at night and Ralph should catch you. Okay. We'll wander the halls. I'll just kind of just chill in the hallway. <laughs> I wonder if I should do that now, though. if Because I don't want it to do the thing where it's I'm going to snoop in Lillian's office and then... Um, 
Yeah, I'll just chill in the hall before we snoop in Lillian's office. I'm also gonna save. Okay, we'll just wait here until we get caught. <laughs> Can go the whole game without revealing his secret identity. Yeah, agreed. Have you ever tried getting into William's office? No, can you? Oh, you can't. That would have been so cool. A whole location that I didn't know existed. You must be the one behind all these shenanigans. Come with me, young lady. I believe the police would like a wade, would you? Oh no. no! What happened? They've confiscated my pass. I guess this takes me off the case permanently. Oh, I should have been more careful. Well, better luck next time. I just hope they'll be a next time for Rick. Okay, good. I'm glad I did that the way we did. <laughs> yes, Crystal Skull! Yeah, Crystal Skull does deserve love. When I am in the mood for a good, good puzzle game, Crystal Skull is definitely up there. Okay, what else we got? Only really played one game, I School Creek. Do like it a lot because of the environment and how creepy and chilling the music is. Yes, the atmosphere um, is done so well in White Wolf. Rydal's finest castor oil. Hmm. Can we look at any of these floppy disks? A game of its time. Floppy disks. Millie, 1958? If you defuse a bomb, you should be allowed to roam wherever you wish. Seriously. Okay, employee ID number. Floor production list. Note the names. Floppy disk, not available. CD, not available. Print. Report printing. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Crystal Skull is definitely underrated. I agree. Okay. Maintenance. Boiler, boiler room. It's just like its secrets can kill. The control room is actor. Promotions. Okay, so we need actor. Missing props, trying to locate a beard and moustache ensemble. Saying moustache is a lot more fun than saying mustache. <laughs> Third season in a row where overall ratings have dropped. Thank you for your script submissions. Everyone was very impressed, but we're not going to go with it. <laughs> Any other way we can implement better control of the security and codes on the set? The way we currently do it is confusing. Please advise. Lillian is not wrong. <laughs> Computers were so big and bulky back in the 90s. Seriously. Really feel the need to discuss Rick Arlen's attitude on the set. I know he's WWB's highest rated star, but I'm finding him more and more difficult to work with. He's constantly late. He's ill prepared. He's rude to the production crew and he ignores my direction. You know that this is not the first time this has happened. When I first came on board with WWB, you guaranteed that neither you nor the board would interfere with my directing. But now I am getting micromanaged by an actor who has no experience or talent in this field. This cannot continue. It is eroding my control over production and encouraging others to question my judgment. Let's discuss. Uh, Crystal Skull number two. Gravitate toward the games that have escape room vibes. Blackmore Manor, Last Train, Crystal Skull, or Treasure Hunt vibes. Shadow Ranch, Ransom, or Sea of Darkness. Love that. What do you think are the most underrated and overrated Nancy Drew games? 
I think Phantom of Venice is kind of overrated. I have never, like, loved Phantom of Venice as much. I think Secret of the Scarlet Hand and Legend of the Crystal Skull are underrated. I think Sea of Darkness is a little bit underrated, but I do see a fair amount of love for Sea of Darkness. Budget and accounts. Can we take any of these? I don't think we can take any of these. Hmm. Glad to see the Deception Island and Shadow Ranch, love. Yes. Deception Island and Shadow Ranch are pretty universally appreciated, and it's easy to see why, too. They're just so well done. I've heard um, Deception Island through Last Train called, like, the golden era of Nancy Drew, because you have Deception Island, Shadow Ranch, Curse of Blackmore Manor, and Last Train, and then Secret of the Old Clock, which doesn't get nearly as much love as the others, but like a string of very beloved games. Mr. Arlen, Mr. Arlen, Mr. Arlen, Mr. Arlen. <laughs> what games are everyone's favorite culprits from? I think mine is Final Scene. Same. Final Scene is another game that I think is underrated. I love the Final Scene. Surprise the chocolates! Okay, so Lillian sent Rick the poison chocolates. Pretty sketchy, Lillian. Anger support group. Lots of anger support groups. Which, you know, it's good that she is doing something about it. She has realized that she's struggling with her mental health and she's doing something about it. Kudos to her. I feel like everyone hates Scarlet, but I love that one. I love Scarlet Hand. I think it's so good. My boyfriend just got home from the gym and brought me a nerd's robe. Yes. Boyfriend award points. <laughs> Bring home candy. Let's see. Anger Control, a self-help guide to calming violent urges. Aha personal files and then this picture of her with Rick <laughs> uh, girl bossing too hard for Lillian's taste by the time you get to Scopa in Phantom of Venice I'm done with the game I just play Scopa forever totally fair Scopa's a lot of fun I really enjoy Scopa as a game do I like that Enrico is a cheater? no <laughs> but Scopa itself is an excellent game Scarlet Hand agree, underrated. Ghost Dog's overrated. Find boring with its environment characters and puzzles. Ugh, my heart. I get it. I can definitely see why people would see Ghost Dogs as boring. As someone who grew up in literally that exact environment, um, I can't help but love Ghost Dogs. World's best clear rubber cement. A wonderful adhesive. Okay. It's a wonderful adhesive, guys. And then the poem that went with the chocolates. So yeah, total confirmation that Lillian sent Rick the poison chocolates. And at least some of the um, threats confirmed. All of the seasons of Light of Our Love. Rick in that pose. Stay tuned for Danger's best culprit and reveal. Literally no notes. Yes, I agree that Stay Tuned for Danger is definitely one of the top three. Stay Tuned for Danger, the final scene, and Danger on Deception Island, in my opinion, are the top three best um, culprits and endings. I made a whole video on that topic. <laughs> also did the worst culprits and endings. Scope is the best. Any Nancy Drew game that has history is a good game in my book. I love the historical ones, too. Big fan. Unknown aggression. New threat. Menace. Monster. <laughs> oh, I was about to sneeze. Sorry, I tried. What did you try? Oh, to, like, um ghost dogs <laughs> totally understandable 
Okay, actor. A and C. Bottom left, top left. Bottom right with a dot. Side left with a dot. And then the O and then the R. I have it written down too. But I'm wondering if I can muscle memory the code. <laughs> I've done it before. Can I do it again? We'll see. Greetings Friday. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Technically Venice culprit wasn't clever enough considering they were having clues sent by mail to their address. This is a good point. Let's read Lillian's personal files. Yay. <laughs> Love the Crystal Skull culprit just because of how delusional they are. It's so out there. I know what you mean. Rick, you had no right to do that to me last night, and you deserved what you got. How could you just leave me like that with no warning, no discussion? Why am I getting the feeling that I've been used by you just like you've used everyone else in this town to get what you want? Now I hear that you're going out to LA for Jocelyn's birthday party. How convenient for you. You used me to meet her, and now you're on her A-list. Do you know how humiliating it will be for me to show up there with everyone knowing about our breakup? You told me when we first started to date that our relationship was different. Why is this not true anymore? <laughs> Watch your back, Rick. One of these days, your lies will catch up to you and you'll find that there's no one left to use. And don't come to me for any more favors. Once burned, twice shy. <laughs> Ouch. Lillian is upset. What is everyone's first Nancy Drew game and everyone's last Nancy Drew game that they played for the first time? First Nancy Drew game, final scene. Last Nancy Drew game, Midnight in Salem. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, so now we should be able to go in here. to the audio booth. Ooh, Nancy Drew Mega Mystery Pack. Games with manual day switches stress you out because you feel so inefficient. It's locked. That's so interesting, because I, I like the control that it provides, but I can definitely see how that would be like stressful like then it doesn't feel like you're like solving the mystery realistically or like Nancy's there for like three weeks <laughs> or something like that ghost dogs and then midnight in Salem alibi and ashes last to stay tuned for danger message in a haunted mansion then sea of darkness haunted carousel and then Deception Island, that's interesting. First, Secrets Can Kill. Last, Sea of Darkness. Midnight in Salem doesn't work on your computer, sure. Never once known your first Nancy Drew game. Your mother claims it was Message in a Haunted Mansion, but no clue. First game, last train, last game, Haunted Mansion, interesting. First, Danger by Design, last was Deadly Device. Was really scared of the STEM puzzles. <laughs> and they're tough puzzles, too. First Royal Tower, last Danger and Deception Island. That's so interesting. Only one you'd ever played and just finished it. Your game glitched and there weren't any more clams, but it was fun. Light reveals what is hidden in the darkness, but you must first unlock the power of the light. Rory Scream. Oh no, Rory Serena. Okay. The power. High voltage. Can Nancy like electrocute herself? I don't think so. First Scarlet Hand, last was Midnight in Salem or Capu Cave. Can't quite remember if you beat Capu Cave before mid's release or not. Yeah, it's hard to remember sometimes. There's so many of them. Every time I tell people who haven't played the games that I like play the Nancy Drew games and then I, they're like, one of the most popular questions is like, how many of those are there? And I'm like, there's 33 of them. Stay tuned for Light of Our Love. 
People are always very impressed by that. We interrupt this program to bring you the following. Last one, Midnight in Salem, had to buy a whole new gaming computer just to play it. Yup, isn't that crazy? Same, basically. I mean, I could play it on my old one, but it was atrocious. It should not I be. I need something to make this work. That difficult. Apparently, you can never get the voice to be just right, but what you can do is like you can hear the background noises. So if you hear that honking, that's supposed to give you a hint to who the culprit is. We'll see. First game, Treasure in the Royal Tower, and it will forever be special. Yes, first game, Ghost Dogs. Last will be Stay Tuned for Danger. There you go. Security footage. Okay. Deadly Device is so good. One of the only games you played without spoilers on Senior because you're a physics major. I love that. Deadly Device is another one that I will say is underrated. I really like the Deadly Device. Usually tell the first game came out in 1998 and the last was 2019. Then tell them to guess how many games there were. Always surprise them. Yeah, no kidding. Because they were prolific. Her interactive pumped out a lot of games in a like relatively short period of time. It's honestly impressive. Love Deadly Device, right? So good. Okay, so now... Yeah! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! <laughs> yeah, I can totally understand not liking the Deadly Device. It is very overwhelming. Lots of very tough puzzles. It is enclosed in one space. Sometimes the characters can feel like a bit much. But all of those things worked for me. In some way, shape, or form. It's locked. Hehe, <laughs> it's locked. Okay. Owen W. Spader. 318 67 2001. 318-67-2001. 318-67-2001. And then there's, I don't think anything else we can find in here. What was it? 318. 318-67-2001. Scariest culprits. Probably the ones um, that are still like the best culprits and endings. Um, although that's slightly different. Ghost Dogs, final scene. Um, stay tuned for danger for sure. Stay tuned for danger wins scariest culprit. And then honestly, um, Ghost Dogs after that. I found that culprit confrontation terrifying. <laughs> Deadly Device is probably your worst environment in the series. It's a place I never want to go. Yeah, and I totally get that. Like, it, it is very, like, lab feel. So it wouldn't be that exciting of a place to visit in real life. So it doesn't have that, like, sort of charm to it in a way. However, I do feel like it felt like a pretty realistic lab, which I like.
It looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick. Thank you, Raymarie. Appreciate putting the numbers in there. Oh yeah, who are the least scary culprits? Curse of Blackmore Manor. Nancy has phone service in the room with the Evan. She can call the police. No one knows where it is. <laughs> I'm watching you and your moms in the living room watching America's Got Talent. Nice. Are there some people with talent? Like the ending in Deadly Device, where you know who done it, but you're trying to figure out how to get the proof without being discovered. Yes, it's so tense. It's very exciting. I needed to watch the um, footage. The security footage, still. So. Yeah, Last Train isn't scary. I agree. Shadow Ranch culprit scares you. Yes, that's another one I would put up there as um, one of the scariest um, culprits. That ending is so terrifying. That's another best ending, too. Honestly, like my top five favorite best ending is in culprits. I think are all just fantastic. Like, miles and away, wonderful. Labyrinth of Lies is not scary at all, it's pathetic. Yeah, the Labyrinth of Lies ending doesn't really work for me either, so I, I would agree with that. I'm not scared by that one at all. Okay, I think we have to take this home to watch it. Or not home, but to Maddie's home. <laughs> not our home. Haunted Carousel. Yeah, it's not rude to use your phone now. The Haunted Carousel ending scares me a little bit. Like, I get hey, a little taxi. unsettled We're by that one. 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Greetings, Tari, and welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Thought I was going to miss this one. Made it, though. Yay, welcome. All right. I love the crackling fire. Makes me so happy. I hit my moment, and it always happens right around July. I need something to make this work. Where I wanted it to be fall again. <laughs> I need something to make this work. Watch. The I need movie. something to make Nancy. this work. Please don't freeze. He appears to be wearing a fake beard and mustache. Yeah, saddest is um, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Definitely agree. That's a sad culprit and ending. That was Dwayne Powers. Why is he wearing a secret beard and mustache? Let's go snoop in his office. Taxi. Let's go break yeah, in. Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Yeah, and Ghost of Thornton Hall. I would put Shadow Ranch and Ghost of Thornton Hall up there for the saddest. It's about time you showed up. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. Do not wish fall upon us yet. <laughs> Thigh game strong on this creeper. <laughs> oh, greetings, Jack. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Yeah, the silent spy. The letter from Nancy's mom is definitely very sad. I need something to make this work. Shadow of Water's Edge is a little sadder because you see how everyone in the family is just not able to move forward. So true. Romeo. Is that supposed to be Dwayne? Was he in a production of Romeo and Juliet? What's in store now for WWB Studios? Rick Arlen leaving daytime? With Studio Heartthrob Rick Arlen. <laughs> oh, Rick. 
person who's trying to not look suspicious walks in the most suspicious way possible. <laughs> the tiptoe walk. It's very similar to the um, vampire walk in The Sims 4. Like, you are very conspicuous right now, sir. <laughs> the Angry Man. Musical Theater Company presents The Angry Man. I like to think that... Oh, I thought this chair was kicked over. I guess it's not. I was gonna say, I like to think that he kicked over that chair in anger. That'd be a, kind of a fun detail. If there was just a chair downed. <laughs> okay. It's November. Hmm, good to know. I guess it's November. Okay. Hate the buzzer alarm, it's so loud. It really is. That noise is the reason I have anxiety today. It's so loud. So upsettingly loud. Okay, we gotta figure out the combination to his briefcase. What does his fortune say? Even though revenge should be sweet, jealous, Acts will end in defeat. It's a very prophetic fortune cookie. Dwayne was an up and coming actor. Yes. He's supposed to be, at least. It's not really mentioned a whole lot, but that's the idea. And he is jealous of Rick for his all of his success. According to later information, right. <laughs> don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Spirit gum adhesive, quick drying. Rio de Janeiro, $35. Well. Plane ticket prices were a little bit different back in 2000. <laughs> Just a little bit different. Not a sad ending, but sad moment for you was finding about um, Julius' passing in White Wolf because poor Isis had been left all alone. Yeah, that is sad. Looks like Dwayne's doing some accounting. He's got some headshots of some actresses he's representing Liberty Mortgage Company hmm worst ending still goes to Midnight in St. Lynn, but if we ignore it the Shatter Medallion I agree the art of gentle persuasion one two three four um oh this looks familiar that appears to be a drawing of a bomb. <laughs> hmm. Well, isn't that sketchy? What about over here? I need to find the key for this. I need to find the key for this, Nancy says. Well. Greetings, Lindsay. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Just got baby to bed, catching the end of the stream. Haven't been able to catch one in forever. Oh my gosh, welcome. I'm so happy to hear that. Greetings, Camille. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Having financial issues, but is renting two New York apartments. Figure it out, Dwayne. <laughs> uh, this um, fax from Maddie's mom to Dwayne. Enclosed is a current resume and file photo for Teresia Poppenhusen. Solid years of experience. Teresia Poppenhusen. Okay, let's go look in. This hat. Or not the hat, the coat. Hello. <laughs> if we ignore the big three, Minna in Salem, probably say Castle just spilling that tea out there. As far as, like, endings... The halt and momentum for Haunting of Castle Malloy always bothers me. 
Should we just take Dwayne's credit cards? <laughs> Chaos Nancy would take Dwayne's credit cards. 4377 663. 4377 Six, I think it's 6630. Yeah, that's so. Dental Persuasion is the name the culprit gave that Klieg light. Okay, keys for the filing cabinet. Um, credit card. Balance due. New balance. Total withdrawals. Just a reminder, the available cash in your checking account is quickly dwindling. Always remember to pay your credit card balance on time to avoid unnecessary finance charges. Payment is past due. Please pay balance immediately. Vinito's Market. Somagaza Station. Manhattan Legal Advisors. Money Market International. That sounds sketchy. Overdue balance finance charge. And Maddie wrote Dwayne a $5,000 check for a loan. Wow. Notice of eviction. He's getting evicted from this property. Final notice. Please be advised that your account is over 120 days past due. So Maddie's real name is Teresia Poppenhausen? I think, no, I think that was a new actress, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that this is Teresia Poppin Houston. <laughs> but I think somebody had a different name. Like Rick had a different name. His last name is actually Abertuski or Abertuski or something. Thematically has almost nothing to do with the rest of the game. Have to head out. Had so much fun talking indie opinions today. Yes. Can't wait for the day you finally play it. Love that. I hope you have a good night, Kiana. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, Maddie Jensen. Her contract with Dwayne. And Maddie has a, like, really good resume. She's had several very strong roles. And her special skills, Elizabethan drama, dialects, aerobics, gymnastics, stage fighting, Firearms, skin diving, kickboxing, ninja throwing stars, good with children and animals, kite flying, and lizard wrangling. <laughs> Our girl is a jack of all trades. Thought that was an old letter from Maddie's mom to Dwayne from way back. That would make sense. Maddie's mom would do such a thing. Okay. Owen Spader. Hmm. Owen Spader, television and theater, and skills, which I can't look at for some reason. Owen Spader's skills are not important. Rick Abertuski crossed out Arlen, because he has a stage name. Lizard Wrangling. <laughs> uh, this was your first game. You were at a friend's house. You were nine, started playing this game together. She quickly got bored, but you became so obsessed and continued for hours. Every time you would go to her house to play, you would ask her mom to play this game. Never got to finish at her house. Eventually borrowed her copy of Haunted Mansion, and it was your first game to win. I love that story, Camille. Okay. Fairly decent resume. Maddie is clearly the superior um, actor here, but by the way they speak, you would never know it. Is Maddie really Connie with those fighting moves? Have Nancy Drew fill this out ASAP. At least he's thinking about keeping his paperwork in order at a time like this. I mean, kudos to him for like actually caring that Nancy has a file. That's good. <laughs> okay, so. We're just gonna steal his file cabinet keys. This is hilarious. 
They're ours now. Okay, bye. Hey, a taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Maddie is versed in Ichido. <laughs> Pull in a minute. Uh oh. For Nancy Drew. Clickety clicking. I thought it was a bomb! This is your final warning, Nancy Drew. You better mind your own business and go back to your little life in River Heights. I mean it. Leave town now, or next time you won't be so lucky. Ooh! Scary! Okay. Let's wake up in the morning. Tick tock! Nancy has more special skills than Maddie. This is true. Nancy can learn how to do anything. And she does. Love the original Secrets Can Kill. Got really annoyed with the switching discs every so often. Seriously. Sadly can't remember the first game you won. Do remember the first game you beat on Senior Mode was Shadow Ranch. Love that. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. I know exactly what you mean, Hallie. I agree. It just adds to the suspense factor. Love the attention of, the, like, the light um, coming through the tree branches. Well done. Can I help you? Hello. Here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. All right. Let's go see who will talk to us. And then we should go back to the house. It's open! Hiya, Maddie. Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Everyone's been talking about that bomb scare. Rick's still shrugging it off, but I can tell he's upset about it. Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg! The sun is setting, and it's been kind of, like, cloudy and humid all day, but it's making the clouds look, like, yellowish, which is always, I feel like, always impending bad weather. Like, really scary weather. <laughs> like, Trail of the Twister type weather. So I'm hoping it's just the sun setting and not anything more intense. Entrez-vous. Entrez-vous. My hero, Nancy Drew. You know, according to ancient tradition, if someone saves your life, you should serve them for the rest of your life. So, what can I do for you, young lady? Your wish is my command. Yeah, right. Well, you can tell me if you've noticed any suspicious characters around your dressing room lately. Yes, I have. They're named Agent Harris, Officer Jostowitz, and Detective Bonnet. It appears I've been quite a celebrity with the local authorities. Hey, I hear Detective Beach is looking for a new star. Do you think I should do some research with my new friends to land the part? Who is Owen? So what we know right now, when we climbed up to see where, where the Klieg light had fallen down, we found a piece of plaid cloth ripped off. And when we went through that secret tunnel into the back of the prop room, we found a plaid shirt with a rip in it and an employee ID in there that was Owen Spader's. And when we checked that employee ID in Lillian's computer, it said that Owen Spader had been around basically every single time that there had been an accident that happened um, concerning Rick. So Owen Spader is a person of interest. We went to Dwayne's office and found that he has a file for Owen Spader and he's kind of like a, a stagehand, essentially. But that's what we know now, right now. This man has a big, huge ego. <laughs> Command him to go away, seriously. Rick, you stop. <laughs> Why are we even helping Rick? <laughs> Greetings, Luna. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Rick is such a mood. First and favorite Nancy Drew game. Yay, I love that. Tell me, Rick, do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. Oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. Don't break my heart, love. 
The way Rick points makes it look like he's really close to us, and I think that would make a lot of sense. Like, Rick would have personal space issues. What is the story with the prop master? Old Millie Strathorn! Heir to the worldwide broadcasting fortune. She's great, except for the fact that she's never liked me. She thinks I'm too big for my britches, and that I wouldn't know a good thing if it came up to me and stuck its finger in my nose. His pecs look like shoulder blades. <laughs> I can't unsee it. Can I ask your advice? Dwayne Powers is my agent. He's pretty good, isn't he? Dwayne's a loser, babe. Don't tell me he's representing you. Didn't he represent you? Yes, he did. A very long time ago. I was young and naive, just like you, love. I made a mistake. Something you can't afford to do at this point in your career. Yes, his Millie impression. Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Stay beautiful. A reject Kendall. Ugh, I am loving the Rick shade. I'm gonna plop some wizard kitten shades in the chat. We love the Rick shade. Ick. <laughs> Simply ick. Enough said indeed. It's open! Stop Why calling me love. I hear you've become quite the celebrity, saving Rory Dunner from those diabolical traps set by that cold-blooded scoundrel, Yuri. Thank goodness you had my wire cutters, else you would have been blown all the way to Bakersfield. I can't get over the fact that Millie's hair looks very much like cake frosting. <laughs> Don't you mean Rick Arlen? And who is Yuri? No, I mean Rory Danner, young lady. Yuri is Rory's evil twin. He's always trying to bump off Rory. With his brother out of the way, Yuri thinks he'll have a clear shot at Serena. I've been trying to help him ever since Rory showed up in Jackson's Wharf. That Rory Danner needs to be taught a lesson. Greetings, Deanna. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you today? Do you know where I can find Owen Spader? He's a stagehand, I believe. Good luck finding him. I've yet to meet him face to face, even though he signs out props all of the time. Hmm. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Come back soon. So we also know that Owen Spader signs out props all the time. She of the Amelia Clark eyebrows. Uh, are we sure the villain isn't just doing a public service? Well, well, well. I see our local hero has shown up for work. Not only can she waste everyone's time with prying questions, but she can find the time to save Rick from being blown to smithereens. Why don't I remember this old lady at all? She has no bearing on the plot, really. Like, very, very minimal bearing on the plot. And you can get through a lot of the game without talking to her much. She's very random. <laughs> What a twist. It's open before she knocks on the door. <laughs> well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. Lillian, I have reason to believe you're the one threatening Rick. I know for a fact you sent him those chocolates. Is that so? Well, I have every reason to kick you off this set. Where do you get off telling me what you think? I'll be calling your agent to let him know we no longer require your services. Get out of my office. Chaos Nancy cares not for the consequences of her actions. Rick does know that Millie pulls all the strings. You would assume... But apparently she's a little shaky on Hey, the... taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! On the who Rick is situation. This dialogue is what makes me believe Millie is delusional. Yeah. She's living in her own reality. Hello? 
Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. It took me forever to finish this game because I was scared of Lillian. That is so fair. Do we tell Lillian Rick's been coming on to us yet? Yeah, I think we missed that um, dialogue option for some reason. He'll flirt with any skirt, that um, delightful little piece of dialogue. <laughs> I know you know how to get in. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Lillian is genuinely terrifying, I agree. Should we call Dwayne? Can we call Dwayne? Is that a thing we can do? Okay. I see our Miss Snoop has shown up. Should we just keep accusing Lillian? Chaos Nancy, maybe? We'll just keep accusing her. Lillian, I think you should leave your act to professionals. I can see right through you. Yeah, well, I hope you can see through the act of whoever's sending these letters because I just got one. Right. How am I supposed to believe that? You think you're so smart. Well, here it is. Proof positive. Thinking of blackmail, my pet? Not if I get to you first. Do you really think you'll find out who I am? And here I thought you hated Rick as much as I do. But you're still in love with him. You're still sold on his stupid smile and good looks. A puppet disguised as an actor. That's what he is. A phony. A ladder climber. See, where have we heard that before? But he'll fall so far down, no one will ever be able to find him again. I'll push you down too, Lillian. Whatever is in store for Rick will be coming your way as well. So stop playing detective and pretend this never happened. You'll be much happier and more alive if you did. Greetings, literal. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? It's just something. <laughs> it really is, Abrian. Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. Nancy tells Maddie Rick is a loser. <laughs> Chaos Nancy should accuse the wrong person. Who could be doing this? You must know. Papa said every reason, without a doubt, the prop master is behind it all. Okay. <laughs> Who is, what's more chaotic of Nancy to be like, it was Rick himself or it was the prop master or it was Maddie. What's the most chaotic option here? I mean, we know who it really was. These are well-written threats, they really are. Read that in Argo Fum's voice. Accuse Ralph. Can we accuse Ralph? Oh man, we can't accuse Ralph. Prop master of death. I like accusing Millie. <laughs> Greetings, Gray. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? Millie, say it was Millie. <laughs> Prop master Millie. I think Millie. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of Millies. Okay. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, the prop master is behind it all. That prop master was always too sneaky for my taste. <laughs> Lillian's into it. <laughs> so she tried to do it in real life. Look you. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> You're so right, Lillian. Her insane desire for control in this studio hit a blank wall when Rick refused to stay with Light of Our Love. Yes, she sure plays the role of prop master very well. Prop master of death. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> Dwayne Powers. Ooh. It's him, up in the control room. And he's locked us in. Lillian, hide. <sighs> Why, hello, Ms. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've trapped both of you. Your death will make a wonderful end, act one. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax to this little soap opera I've produced. I'm calling it One Death to Die. Dwayne, why? Why do you hate Rick so much? Maddie and Lillian have more reason to hate him than you do. More reason than I? Rick Arlen has to die and I'll tell you why. Because he killed me. He killed Dwayne Powers! Prop master of death. <laughs> 
So, you were behind this campaign of terror all along? I wish I could take credit for it all. But it was really Rick who started it. He sent the first letters, probably to drum up publicity for his failing career. And Lillian, of course, was kind enough to supply him with the tainted chocolates. You see, Ms. Drew, everyone hates Rick. I'm doing the world a service by getting rid of him. Hmm. Dwayne, this isn't a soap opera. You're dealing with real people. Real life is a soap opera. You'll learn that. Or rather, you would have learned that had you lived. This ending is terrifying. Maddie still cares for you. You're making a big mistake. Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Okay. Let's just, we'll just stand Faces, here. Everyone. And let um, him get us. Hi, Therapy. <laughs> Dwayne, you dope. Voice acting is chef's kiss. Yes, this is like a good culprit monologue. Oh my gosh, and he's even doing sound effects. Can I try to hide somewhere else? Oh, the game doesn't even let you. He's That's interesting. Down. Yeah, I know he's coming down. I wish we could see him coming down Think, the stairs. Nancy. Think! That would be even more terrifying. Uh, uh, hit him with the axe. Open up in there for your final close-ups. The final close-ups. Open the override lock. Oh my gosh, the scream. Was that Lillian or was that a sound effect? This is so anxiety inducing. <laughs> Open up in there. Get you, Lillian. Open up. I'm gonna get you. Open the override lock. Time's up. It's oh, cutting no. free, Miss Drew. <laughs> no, don't! No! <laughs> no, don't! No! <laughs> Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action! I'll come down for the final close up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever! So sorry about your short lived career, Miss Drew. Oh my gosh, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Open up in there! Open up! This is a turn, Nancy! Lillian, I know. <laughs> think, Nancy, think! Oh, drat. Killed Lily and then came for Nancy. I think that's what it is, the scream. Time's up! It's curtains for you, Miss Drew. What's going on in here? Hey, you! This is the guy we've been looking for. Yes, go Ralph. Get him. Congratulations, Nancy. You've solved the case. Way to go, Ralph. Forget about it. Dwayne's <laughs> in the right hands now. Case closed. Forget about Dear it. Dear Bess, another mystery solved. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy. <laughs> I don't think publicly apologizing for the crime of, like, nearly murdering us is good enough, Dwayne. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you're right, Rachel. Definitely possible.
Ralph body slams him. Yay, Ralph! <laughs> Didn't think Ralph could run that quickly. I love that they have a picture of him with the donut at the end. Like, come on. <laughs> Final puzzle switches to the junior mode when you solve it. Isn't that great? Titanic ripoff. Dwayne doesn't even look behind him to see Ralph chasing him. Ralph is an icon. Forget about it. Lillian's head pasted on James Cameron. <laughs> Thank you, musical blonde. Lillian's directing Titanic now. <laughs> Yay! Ralph is the hero we needed. Woohoo! Good stream! Yay! I'm so happy to hear that. I'll pop us out to our loading screen. It's so funny ending the classical games because um, there's no, like, there's no credits. Or, well, there is credits, but there's no, um, what am I calling them? Trailers. There's no trailers. There's no bloopers. Um, there's no end game rewards or anything. It's just done. <laughs> it's just done. And it's all good. Okay. Now why? There we go. So yes, Owen Spader was is an anagram for Dwayne Powers. So Owen Spader, if you rearrange all the letters, it spells out Dwayne Powers. That's why we saw him with the mustache and the beard, the fake mustache, walking all sneaky <laughs> down the hallways. <laughs> it was Dwayne the whole time. It was not Millie, the prop master of death, believe it or not. Twas Dwayne. <laughs> Back when her had a good CEO, yeah. Thank you, Deanna, for coming. Awesome ending in game. I agree, Ryan. Love the stream. Such a classic. Thank you so much for coming, Julia. So fun. Love this one. Thank you so much for coming, Hannah. No teasers. Exactly. Thank you, Amanda. So glad you could make it. Yes, next stream is Secret of the Old Clock coming up on Thursday, July 7th. Thank you, Ray-Marie, for plopping that in there. Owen W. Spader, Dwayne Powers, precisely. Gonna do an apartment for Rick, Dwayne, Lillian, and Ralph. I totally should. Oh, I want to do a Ralph apartment now. <laughs> and I can make him um, have the active career, the active police career in The Sims 4. So was Owen Spader meant to be Dwayne Powers? Was always confused by that. Yes. Yep. It's a fake identity that he made up um, when Rick said he knew who... Owen Spader was he was lying he didn't know who Owen Spader was yeah yeah I know Owen <laughs> Lillian in the beard and mustache yeah exactly <laughs> Nancy sees the tapes mm-hmm we see the tapes we see the bomb drawn in Dwayne's office oh I should put on music so we know it's him basically um those are all the clues that tell us like yeah it's definitely it's definitely Dwayne Glad I got the ending. Nostalgia blast. You too, Maple. This is great. Thank you for the fun. Thank you so much for coming, Fluffy. Stay tuned for Dwayne'ger. Yes. See you next time as well, Zach. But what time do you think for the next stream? TBD. Um, Secret of the Old Clock. It's not a super long game. The sky is bright orange. <laughs> like bright neon highlighter orange a little unsettling <laughs> not gonna lie at least we don't have to worry about any haboobs here <laughs> that's my new favorite inside joke from these streams is me learning what a haboob was endless mini golf i'll play the mini golf at least once but if i don't win on the first time i'm not gonna do it again <laughs> the sewing i sometimes can do on the first try Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's going to be so chaotic. Great stream. Thank you so much for coming, Tarian. Yes, apartment for Ralph. Did a good job of hinting at the culprit. Yes, I think they did too. And it's really subtle. Like, Nancy doesn't directly tell us any of that. You just kind of get to piece together on your own. Like, oh, that's why Dwayne was the culprit. He had money problems. He was jealous of Rick. Lots of issues. Can't wait for chaotic driving. Oh, yes. Good night, Tanya. Thank you, aubrey -Ann. Goodbye, Joshua. See you Thursday. OMG, it is orange. I just looked out when you said that. Isn't it? <laughs> it is bright orange. It's crazy. Who 
get the second chance of top them in the weird void. Yes. Oh my gosh, so excited. That'll be a fun one. Today's stream was brought to you by all of the patrons over at Mystique Manor and by all of the official fellow Detective Channel members. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Today's stream was also supported by all of the super chats and super stickers that were used in chat today. Thank you so much for your support there. And thank you all for supporting the streams in the biggest way by attending the streams, hanging out with me in chat, and enjoying playing Nancy Drew with me. I really appreciate you all. Sky here is yellow green. We do have a thunderstorm coming in. I hope it actually thunderstorms. I want some of this humidity to go away. I just don't want it to be anything more than a thunderstorm. <laughs> yes, chaotic driving. Can't wait for next stream time to trash talk old clock. Yeah, old clock ranks a little bit lower for me, but I do like, I still like it. Like it's very pleasant. Keep getting caught on the end puzzle on Master Detective. I find it difficult. It is really hard. Oh, greetings, Dana. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. Sorry if you've been here for a while and I missed that. Thank you, little cave. So happy you could make it to this one since you've been working so much. Oof. I hope you get a little bit of rest soon. Working a lot is really tough. Greetings, Aspie. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. How are you? First time I caught you at work and we're just finishing up. <laughs> Ain't that just the way. Thank you, August. Have a good night. Thank you, Rachel. Have a good night. I'll see you Thursday. Oh, clock is one of your faves, despite its flaws. Totally get that, Amanda. Hopefully it'll be at a good time for you. Oh, greetings, Emma. Just finished work, came here to see if you could catch this one because it was your first game. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Emma. I hope the replay is fun. Just finishing up. You as well, Tarian. Thank you so much for joining, Lauren. Have a good night. No, not thunderstorms. Queen Mel suffered enough loud noises. This is true. She can't have two nights of loud noises. Raining off and on here in New Hampshire. Sure, that's good. Got in here really late, so no, you didn't miss anything. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for popping in. It was good to see you. Thank you, Amanda. Super relaxing game. I agree, Little Cave. Good night, Julia. Happy birthday to your brother tomorrow. Happy birthday. And see you Thursday, I suppose. <laughs> see you Thursday. All right, thank you all so, so much. Next stream will be on Thursday, Secret of the Old Clock. Exact time will be posted on Instagram stories, Discord announcements, and the YouTube community tab. So if you're keeping an eye out for the exact time, feel free to check out any of those socials. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell, and that will let you know when I go live as well. Because then you'll get the notifications. But good night, everyone. Good night, Little Cave. Good night, Squeaky. Good night, Aspie. Good night, Nick. Good night, Ray Marie. Thank you all so, so much for coming. This was wonderful. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye.